Big promises have been made at the COP26 summit. Zero carbon neutrality, methane pledge, stopping deforestation. All these present a positive picture. It would appear that the world might be able to limit global warming to under 2 degrees Celsius. Unfortunately, that is not the case. What is being presented stands in clear contrast to reality. The world is still nowhere near the goal of limiting temperature rise by 1.5 degrees Celsius as compared to the pre-industrial levels. This was highlighted in a report presented by the group Climate Action Tracker. The world is heading for 2.4 degrees of warming by the end of the century, despite promises by countries attending the COP26 conference to cut greenhouse gas emissions. Temperatures will far exceed the limit set by the Paris Accord. At that level, widespread extreme weather events, including sea level rise, droughts, floods, heat waves and fiercer storms, would cause devastation across the globe. It will alter the ecosystem in a way that cannot be undone. The group, deemed highly credible by the United Nations itself, says that the reason is the the gap between the speeches and the policies. It said that the country's stalled momentum is what is stopping the progress. As per the group, if current policies and measures are taken into account rather than the promises, temperatures would rise to 2.7 degrees Celsius and the devastation that warming will bring cannot be imagined. To give you an example, if countries implement all of the proposals they have made until 2030, we would emit twice as much greenhouse gas emissions than we should if we want to be on a trajectory towards 1.5 degrees. It's a huge grab. It's enormous. And that means every country, really every country, needs to go back and rethink what they can do more by 2030. Not by 2050, 60 or 70. By 2030. That's important. The group also said that short-term plans are the need of the hour if the governments are serious about tackling climate change. So far, all countries have presented plans that span into the next three decades. 30 years is also a long time. When the earth is warming up rapidly, net zero emissions are the word of the town. At least for Glasgow, all countries have set their target. However, as per the researchers, not a single country has plans in place to move towards the net zero target. Um, not a single country has short-term policies in place to put itself on track towards its own net zero target. Right now, the net zero targets are a good yeah, vision, imagination, but they have to be backed by action, by short-term action, Otherwise, uh, they are simply not credible. And that's where the big problem is. And that's where also this COP has only moved a small step forward. We heard it already. The gap has decreased through this update process only up to uh, 15 uh, to 17 percent. So we are still having a huge gap. Assuming all countries implement everything they have proposed here, we would in 2030 still emit twice as much as we should if we want to be on a 1.5 trajectory. The group also highlighted that long-term goals of major emitters like Russia, Brazil and Australia lacked credibility. It even said that some countries are not serious about the purpose of COP26. This climate action tracker report surely burst the bubble for the leaders and people around the world who still had their hopes up. The famous author Paolo Coelho once said that when you want something, then the universe conspires in helping you achieve it. But what we forget is that we need to act for the universe to come to our aid. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.